Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing my updated tanning routine and the three stages of my tanning routine is how I prep for my tan, what I use to tan and how I maintain my tan. Okay, so for when I do tan, I make sure that in the shower I have a very hot shower Make sure I open all my pores up, ready to scrub any of the excess tan off that I do not want. So, I then go in and shave my legs, my armpits, everything I need to for tanning. And I make sure I shave in short strokes, so that if you're going long strokes and quite violently, you do get a lot of redness. So I make sure I only do short ones to stop that. I then go in, I then go in with these exfoliating gloves and my Dove Gentle Exfoliating Nourishing Body Wash and this is actually very very gentle on exfoliating your skin so it's really good for sensitive skin and I make sure that I literally I scrub everything off all the dead skin cells everything because if you do not do that then your tan can go a bit patchy and won't be as smooth of an application so after I've finished exfoliating and shaving I will go ahead and wash the rest of my body wash my hair my face everything and then before I get out the shower I, I turn the shower head on really really cold and I stay in there for about 30 30 seconds more and make sure that I close all of my pores after you've been in the shower because if you don't close those pores once you've exfoliated and everything, you will get those black dots when you tan. And to prevent that, you just need to have a cold shower. After I get out of the shower, I then go ahead and use the body butter on my elbows, my hands, my knees and my feet. Because they're quite dry patches of your skin. And if you go over them with a moisturiser, then the tan will cling to them and they will be very harsh and you'll get quite dark patches and you don't want that and then I kind of sit around wait for an hour just so my pores can fully close up so that no, nothing else will go in them so for when I do tan I use the St. Marie's tanning mousse in dark and I go ahead and apply that just with a basic super drug tanning mitt and I just go ahead and make sure I've coated everything and one good trick is if that you haven't got a back tanning mitt, then you can get a kitchen spatula or anything like that and attach your mitt to it. And that way you can get behind and do your whole back. So after I've done that, I leave my tan probably overnight. It's fully synced in. Or if I have been doing it in the morning, I will actually night before I go to bed. But if I've done it late afternoon, I will just leave it overnight. So then, then when I've rinsed my tan off, I like to rinse it off with a freezing cold shower just for about 30 seconds to rinse off anything. Because if you have a hot shower to rinse off your tan, the that you've put your tan in will actually come out and you get more tan coming off you than you should be. For maintaining it, I like to make sure I moisturise my body every single day to keep my tan on for as long as possible. I really like this tan because on me it fades very very slowly and makes sure that I don't get any patchiness or anything. Obviously I do get, do get a little bit towards the end of the week but mainly it just fades naturally so I can just scrub it off with the exfoliator and I'm all done. Okay that is my tanning routine, I really hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I hope I've showed you some more tricks and stuff so yeah bye